Hey, what is going on, nerds? Skeleton Jim. It is time for enlightenment, apparently. Uh, it's also time for more USA. So, get your USA hats on, kids. Because that's happening. The age is going to end. How sad. Of absolutism. We didn't really do much. Um, but that's okay. We do have the capacity for a couple more troops. We also have the capacity for a couple more dudes. We're also kind of far, we're kind of behind tech a little bit, so that's, I'm not going to say that's discouraging, but it's sad. Uh, okay, so first order of business. Um, I believe our first order of business is probably destroying the Caribbean. Caribas? You know, the Caribbean. They should probably pay. Why are they paying? I, you know, they, the, the, the reasons. Basic reasons. Leave the poor <laughs> Portuguese Louisiana alone. He didn't mean to do it. He's just a tiny, tiny, tiny baby man. Sick. Uh, how are we doing on all that kind of like coring and overextension stuff? We're sort of fine. Uh, we've got some revolt problems. It's not unexpected, I suppose. Yeah. Soon, though, we'll also have to start uh, declaring basically on Portugal proper and all that stuff. I kind of want to get, um... Oh, yeah, you're still up. I kind of want to get, um... <clears throat> the Caribas knocked out and all that before we get into that, though. Just so we're pulled in less overall directions. Why is this only 181? Ugh. All right. I didn't want to take out a loan. I really did not. Maybe it was uh, not the best call. So we're just going to end up just kind of declaring on this man here. And he's, he's going to die. Pretty hard. Where are my big boy boats? So we should probably just blockade this whole thing. Oh, okay. Uh, or you could just sacrifice your ships for reasons unbeknownst to me. I'm saving the create a fleet thing for um, the real threat. Portuguese, all that. It's kind of my intention on that one. So once I get these islands all set up, then we're going to have a 
grand old time now, aren't we? We're still annexing Chimu. Chimu's yeah, he's gonna take a while to annex. He's he's quite large. Kansas. Well, let's go up to Kansas then. Ooh, can we spend enough money to keep this whole thing going? What should we invest in? We should probably invest in better forts. That should be probably one of our more senior priorities. Already have, I'm already at 35% war score. We demand full annexation. That's what I want. It's going to be a fair amount of aggressive expansion, but it's got to get done. Building buildings, good news for me. I would also like to kind of get my armies a little bit better situated. So I think what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to probably buff this uh, Western army. So he's all fit for combat. Should probably assign you like a leader. <laughs> Would you like a leader? Is that what is that what you want? You want a leader? I'm sure that he's fine. You appear to be uh, not as enthused as you first were, Caribus. It's because you know that you're gonna get uh, annexed, and that's scary. All right, continuing on the conversion game. Who do we have in charge in our cabinet here? All right, it's, it's all, it's all seems fair. We've got some rebels. Fleet is staying there. That's good. That's not my problem for right now. We'll just let them reinforce naturally over time. Now we're getting ready to land, which should be fun. Neat. More uh, tropical wood or something. I want more manpower. I want the most manpower. This is not enough. It's just straight up not enough. Army maintenance going down would be probably a good thing. Apparently, uh, our vassals deciding to try.
try to sway the tides of war or something? This is rather bizarre. <laughs> really not. Not quite sure what's happening. I think I'm gonna keep building the spy network over here. So I can uh, make my way into French Louisiana. 13 colonies are also probably a tad of a juicy target. This whole Kansas thing. Yeah, I want more of this like Central Plains state. That's what I want. I need it. I also need like more money. But if we keep expanding and increasing our overall development, like nothing's gonna be able to stop us. As I recall, we're actually fairly powerful. I mean, we're right behind Ming there. Not having the institution kind of sucks, but that's okay. It should start uh, spreading, what is this now? Oh, I thought it was like many of these stacks on top of each other. Yeah, things are starting to spread out here. Because of the uh, universities. I mean, we kind of prepared for this, right? We tried, at least. So, I think we just keep investing in, like, universities and all that kind of stuff. Oh, yes. No captured ships. Where would they go? Maybe, like, Portugal? It's cute that you're trying to counter-espionage me. Oh, we actually have to own the port? That's silly. I mean, we control it, right? We demand their full annexation. Goodbye, Portuguese presence in this area. You are no longer welcome here. Glorious. Let's put you, like, here. It's a nice central location. For you to start, like, spreading.
Now the next thing to start taking care of is Portuguese Mexico here. And their good friend Portuguese Louisiana, but we're, we're, we're getting to that. California, all these things. Yeah, we can start uh, building the spy network for you. Oh, have they now? I'm sorry, Portugal, but you're insignificant to me. That's just how it goes. I should probably keep him, now that I think about it, close by. Cause we're, we're gonna have issues. For sure. Wasteland. Where's this now? I feel like it's not exactly correct. More production. For that fur. And boots with. Battle for South America is on. And that's okay. I still haven't decided on the next idea group that we're going to take. But we haven't finished the any of a lot of the idea groups that we already have. Here. I I think that's okay for right now. We got a fair amount of Angelica now. We're gonna have to declare conquest on this Norwegian Columbia. Quite sad. We're getting there. We'll take the prestige shit, that's it's totally fine. Is there anything that should have a trade center? You've got one. Hmm. Sick. We keep sort of expanding in this general area for right now. Okay, so it's 1702. We gotta have like claims lined up, sort of.
Okay, that was what I was kind of afraid of. I'm surprised that they spawn so fast. But I think the next kind of strategic move is to take out Portuguese Mexico. I have a lot of cannons. That is wild to me. They're on like the uh, islands or whatever. No. All right. Well. Got some treasure fleet money. Cause I feel like we're we're slowly gonna start running out of time. Maybe that is uh, correct. So like we could take all that. We could take one of these provinces. Okay, that'll slow like the decay of innovativeness. So that's good. There's more number of states for the admin group. Do have a level two. I don't really want you guys to gain influence. But it's going away in 10 years. The state could probably like put the money to good use or something. I'm hoping. Yeah, we have privateers. We have we have that whole privateer thing going on. So, like, why not? What would I possibly want to develop? All right, now we're gonna have this little like flame for a couple of years. And maybe that's fine. <laughs> maybe that's just the, that's just the price of doing business. Okay. So I'm gonna recall you, and then we're gonna work on. Going to war with uh, my good friend here. And then we're probably going to want to start fabricating some claims on like Norwegian Columbia. To link our, our, our stuff together. We're going to want to go to war with the 13 colonies. Excellent. So I want Olanchu.
And we're gonna just kind of move in here. We're gonna take your stuff. It's gonna be fine. And then we'll just go back to business as usual over here. They're probably gonna start like counter espionaging me, which is annoying. But it is what it is, I guess. They just sort of want to just like wipe this guy out completely. Or at least like surround him or, or do something to him. Take his ports. That implies to me that that was his whole army. Okay, we'll deal with this rebel uprising. That'll be fun. bring up an interesting point. Maybe we should think about... Although I just recently kind of reformed the government. Well, Cherokee is just gonna sit there, then... Let Cherokee sit there. He's, he's doing fine. He's doing great, in fact. Probably want to start making those into our cores. Can we upgrade any uh, boats? We might as well just upgrade all the boats. What I'm, what's what I'm feeling? Oh my god! I forgot about that. We should probably take that, because I'm I will forget again. That's just the way it goes. What's the next uh, thing? We get a new frigate. And a, a new shipyard. Just new stuff. I don't really care about that. <laughs> yeah, I'll be honest with you. Look at this ugly color. Is this burgundy? No. Uh, it's, it's England. He's doing something. He's just kind of being a, a weird dude. Potomac. Where where is this? I 
Ah, okay. I got you. You got, you got some unrest issues here. Well, since we've already had an uprising over here, we can, uh, we can safely divert the troops. Sick. You'll probably accept peace. I don't know if I'm fully willing to give peace. Maybe I am. Well, if this army's coming back around, then there's no way that I'm backing out. I like how he's kind of been, like, betrayed by his master here. Makes me feel good. This is probably an important fort. Alright, we've spent money. Good for me. No, that's okay, bud. You don't need to worry about fighting them. And you definitely don't need access to my, my lands here. Yeah, I want more, like, territory in that state. What I want from him. Not ready to talk to you yet. Hooray! We've wiped out the enemy. Isn't that exciting? We're never really in. Super big danger. That's okay. It's time to try to clear these out. March. My dears, march down there. So we can put the boots to them, medium style. Yeah, we're running out of things to colonize, huh? Because that's all wasteland. Yeah. We are indeed. He's not officially given up yet. Now he's on low enthusiasm. I think he was just ticked to medium because we had ongoing battles. don't want to lose another stability. I 
I also would like to build a factory. If it pleases the court. Good for you, France. Way to stand up to evil. You've done it. Am I gonna have to help my vassal? I have no idea where he thinks he's going. I'm wondering if I can just full annex, um, what's its face? You. Portuguese Mexico. Oh no. Not separatists. They gotta go. I can just full annex them. So I will. I've got some rebels or whatever. All right, well, I'm going to take a break here. As always, though, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure to leave a like. If you had a comment, make sure to leave a comment. And as always, if you want to stay tuned for more, then just subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.